Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Imagine Art AI image generation tool, and this is gonna be the website. So basically, as you can see right here, it's pretty user friendly. Once you log in here, you'll see or you'll be greeted with this prompt bar right here. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see some of the results here. For example, an enchanted forest like this, or a realistic portrait of an elf house, something like that. Moving on to the lower side, we have this results right here. It really encompass. Simplicity is more right here. Less is more. That is the main idea of AI image imagine art online. And this is gonna be their user base right now, 25 million. Discord community is 62,000 image process 150 million. Now before we get started right here, I want to show you what I like best about this AI. If you pay your attention to the top section right here, we have blog, community affiliate API and desktop application. If I click on blog right now, I'll meet you inside. So once you click on blog, you're going to see this tutorials. You'll see right here we have articles, product updates, guides and imagine art API. If I click on this and for example, it will have a blog or guide on how to use this specific application, much like a tutorial. And not just a simple tutorial, guys. We have visual aids right here from step one, step two, three, and so on and so forth. It even explains the current settings, for example, aspect ratio, high resolution, CFG scale, and of course, negative prompts right here. So imagine the AI didn't left anything behind. It wants you to give, or you, it wants you to have the best um, experience while using this. And here's going to be the pricing. For the free plan, you can use Imagine for free, which presumably consumes with very basic features and functionality. That is given, of course. So this is the pricing per month and for um, premium and professional. So since we already covered everything here, you can also get your API. So with this one, you can explore your playground. You can get the API key to seamlessly integrate the power of generative AI into your products. Much like asking the AI to integrate with your own website or any other products. So after everything has been done there, that's the introduction. Might as well try, right? I'm gonna click on sign in right now. So welcome back to the video. This is what it looks like inside. You'll be greeted with the advertisement for a discount, I think. And with that being said, I think I have 50 credits with this one. So get more out of Imagine, craft magical AI words with a rated plan. Again, guys, I only have the standard free plan because I want to take you step by step here, imagining if you had the free plan also. Before we get started, pay your attention to the left side. We have the tools, the Canva, though this is still on beta phase. We have Imagine Art API, Community Feed, and Profile. And you'll be greeted with this one. So describe what you want to see with this one and separate them with commas. That is the plain example of this. On the right side, we have the settings. Basic settings and image generation, models, art styles, negative prompt, CFG scale. This is going to be the intensity on how much you want your image to rely on your text or rather prompt. Now, since this is going to be an edge image generation, I don't want to be random here. I want to use a um, guide. So speaking of guide, I have this list of images. This is actually from Midjourney. Because there are a lot of prompt websites right there where you can get free prompts or paid prompts with the sample image. So since this is going to be our first try and I want, really want to save up some credits, might as well take a sample and um, compare the two. How about this guy right here? So this is going to be the prompt with aspect ratio of 1, 2. I'm going to copy this one and go back here, paste it with that. Make sure the comma is perfect. I think with this one, I'm going to make sure the aspect ratio is the same. Let me just double check. Aspect ratio is 1 to 2. They have it here. I think for the other aspect ratio, you need to pay for the paid subscription. I'm going to go for one image here to save some credits. Art style. I think since that's going to be a little bit more the Renaissance or realistic. I'm going to go with this one. How about euphoric? Hmm. Let me just check it right again. So this is going to be realistic. I'm going to go with Manila Missing here. And then with that being said, let me just go to all. So there we have it. That's what I'm looking for. 
So I'm looking for a model that is a bit more realistic. So for the model, I think I'm gonna go with somewhere right there or medieval, since the sample photo is with a medieval period. Make sure that's medieval. Models right there. I'm gonna go with version 5.2. This is gonna be by your own preference. I suggest go to the populars tab and make sure choose any popular right there. Negative prompt, I think I'm just gonna let it be for now. And with that being said, I'm gonna click on generate right now. This will cost me two credits. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. That took only I think 10 seconds. And the right side is gonna be from Mid Journey. Left side is gonna be from Imagine Art. Now I know it's they're not really identical, but please give your appreciation on Imagine because this is a new application. The concept is there, the medieval is there, especially there are no flaws here. If you see right here, it's really realistic and it really got the medieval knight with that one. It's really lacking on the dark fantasy or other stuff, so we found out the limit here, but again guys, it really captured the medieval knight, right? Now I want to try something else here. I want to go for GTA. If you're familiar with GTA, that's going to be Grand Theft Auto. That is the one of the most famous games ever created. I think I'm going to type in GTA here. So we have the GTA characters here. Now this is going to be really testing the limits of Imagine Art. Because um, with Mid Journey, it was successfully creating these images right here. Now I want to try this one. This one right here. Copy everything. Paste it over here. Make sure everything is right. Mustache, with that being said. And now for the art style, since we're going for GTA, I think I'm gonna go with, or I'm gonna help it with a little bit more GTA here. I'm gonna go with Vibrant. That being said, I'm just gonna double check if there is this art style here that fits GTA better. And with that being said, I think that is it. I'm gonna go with Vibrant, since GTA is really vibrant, right? So for the high resolution, this is for paid subscription. That being said, for negative prompt, I'm going to leave it as it is. For the models, I'm going to go for V5.2 again. Or let's just look for something that gives GTA here. Now we have the GTA prompt here right now. I'm going to go for art style GTA here. So welcome back to the video. Right side is mid journey and left side is imagine. Now I'm not saying they're identical, but I'm going to give a little bit more points on imagine because since it's a new website, it really is a good um, output right here. Also, let me just remove this one. On the options right here, you can download directly with no hassle. You can full view, delete this one, or upscale. You heard me right, you can upscale from here. Now, how about this one? Let's try Remix. So, since on the top section, we have Remix and Canva. Let's um, put Canva on the last option or part of the video. For now, I'm going to go with Remix. Now let's try um, Remix. So for Remix, we need to upload the photo. I'm just gonna choose a sample photo I got from the internet. I'm gonna go with this one. Crop the image. For the aspect ratio, I'm gonna return by one by one. Crop image right there. Now, with that being said, on the left section right here, you're gonna have an option. Number images, model. I think I'm gonna go with vibrant here or anime or something but realistic. For art style, with this one, I think I'm gonna go with. Let me just check the choices here. I wanna be vibrant. High resolution for paid subscription, guys. Now, you're gonna have some options here. From Scribble, transform your scribbles into art. Zap, I think, amplify or replace the subjects of your image. Open pose, replicate your pose in the art pose, something like that. Canny is enhanced art on top of original composition. And the other four are for paid subscription. So I'm going to go with scribble right here for a control mode, something like that. And with that being said, I'm going to enter a prompt right now. Simple, a Nike shoes for an e-commerce or marketing. Let's just say advertisement or marketing poster, something like that. Click on generate right now and wait for the magic to happen. So welcome back to the video. With that being said, if you check on the right side, this is going to be the original image with the Nike green shoes and the left side would be our image generation which is going to be remix i want to take note that 
there isn't much changes on the Nike shape. So everything here has changed except the shape. It, the AI did not ruin the exact um, build, the exact model. It only changed the color, especially that part right there. The check, the swoosh or the Nike check, something like that. I'm going to download that one. So we're done with Remix. Let's focus on Canva now. If you click on Canva right here, think of it as Figma. If you're familiar with Figma, I have a video about that one. So please check it out. So for Canva, basically it's going to be the name itself. It's going to be a Canva. You're going to have the text to image, your image to remix tool right there, or upload an image here. With that being said, I think I'm going to use this one right here. The GTA earlier from text to image. I'm going to use it as a reference photo for the Canva option. So welcome back. The upload took around 30 seconds. So again, guys, this is going to be the image we have from earlier let me just minimize it perfect now once i click on the photo you're gonna see tools on the right side you can move it for example send backwards if you have multiple photos you can generate one more time if you click on that option right there to generate an image now again guys it, i think most of the ai mods or ai tools have this option but if you click on this option you can describe what you want to see for quality styles, colors, artists, and mood, for example, I want to see enchanting forest path. And then for quality, I want it to be exquisite. Styles, minimalism, colors, I want it to be vibrant. I think I'm good with this one. And with that being said, make sure we have those tags right here. Make sure the number of images right there. And let's help it a little bit. I'm going to go with euphoric here. And then negative prompt. And with that being said, I'm just going to type in a forest trail path, something like that. Generate image right now. Now, while we're waiting for this to go up, now this is going to be your image right now. So you can add to Canva. You can upscale or download with that being said. For example, I want to add it with Canva. Perfectly right there. Now, I can now enlarge this one. This is my new image. I can now change it, crop it, or choose an image right here. For the layers, I can darken. I can make sure the percentage is 100 or so. I can move the backward or move the front right here. Everything here is clearly available on my end. It's pretty much like Canva if you have it on your phone or tablet. So I have a video about that, so please check it out. So that being said, if you're satisfied with this one, for example, you can simply download it. Again, guys, before we end this video, I want to take you on the pricing. The standard is $8. Premium is $13 per month. Professional is $10 per month. For the U. Weekly, I think, you have for $7 per week. $15 for the premium. Professional is $9. So that's going to be it. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.